MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. Graham, WT150, this is a popular machine from Nakamura. Yeah, this is our most popular range uh, that we sell through ETG. Uh, the WT150 65, 65 bar capacity uh, machine, very, very popular. We send around about 25 machines uh, a year in this construction. Obviously, the, the benefits that we have on here, double turret, twin spindle, uh, we can uh, double lock all of the components right the way through the machine from bar to part out. So, not for everyone though, because it's a production machine, would that be right? Yeah, we, we normally tend to, to find the right sort of customer for actually doing all of this type of work. Somebody who wants a good high value component, a very good level of precision, repeatability and production. Okay, and what sort of market would that be in generally, subcontractors or equipment manufacturers? Yeah, generally the subcontractor type market, well, we've done extremely well in the market of avionic uh, connectors, something which are actually quite complex type parts. Uh, where there's uh, probably around about an 80% turning, 20% uh, milling, um, and that actually gives us a very, very good feed out from this machine. So looking at the machine with its multitasking capability, could it replace two, three, four machines in a machine shop and be solely responsible for components on its own? I think definitely. I think where people are looking at uh, having to have more manual intervention, uh, having to pick up the part, rotate it around between the OP10 and OP20, Obviously the ability with this style of machine is effectively it's bar in, part out. We have the ability to be able to do that and the synchronisation of the axis uh, around the spindle uh, obviously gives it fantastic repeatability and throughput. And they, when we talk about flexibility, both turrets on this machine, can they work on either spindle or are they restricted to just one spindle? No, absolutely. That's, that's the great fact about the WT where we look in here. Uh, is that we have the ability that both turrets will actually work on both spindles, uh, which is why they're up and over uh, turrets. The great advantage that we have from obviously a tool setup uh, possibility there is that Nakamura go with their half index position as well. So where we have a 12 station turret, we can actually go to 24 um, static tools, uh, turning tools. Uh, then obviously on the turrets from a driven tooling perspective as well would obviously take up one position. Uh, but it does give us that ability to then load that up with possibly 48 turning tools on one turret. So you can tackle very, very complex parts in one hit? Absolutely, that's exactly what this machine was designed for. Okay, playing devil's advocate, Graham, there's lots of mill turn, twin turret machines on the market. Why this from ETG? Uh, I think a lot of people, obviously, when they go for a quality part, would understand that, you know, a Nakamura, a fantastic Japanese manufacturer, a big name. Um, people will get the precision, the accuracy out of the machine and the longevity of it as well. I mean, ETG stand by our Future Secure as well with a three-year warranty package on this machine. So it really does give a very good buying possibility. And the prices that we're, we've been able to develop these machines to now is, is well under where we were possibly eight or nine years ago. We'll come back to price because I just want to tackle one other thing. You can buy plenty of machines in the market, vertical machining centres, a single axe or two axis lathes, but when you buy a machine like this, you need to learn. How, how do you go about teaching somebody, taking them through that process of going from a simple procedure up to this type of machine? I mean, obviously, that does take time, and, and obviously, I think somebody that's sort of a, a very low level of CNC experience would obviously require that sort of level of backup. But I think one thing we've tried to develop through ETG's applications and uh, operations part of our business is developing the level of training and understanding of this, this type of technology. And obviously, the, the better training that we can actually give, the more that that customer is actually going to get out of the machine and we'll see what the potential and returns on investment are going to be much, much higher. Okay, and I look at Nakamura and I think twin spindle, twin turret and Y-axis, which you've got on just the bottom turret of this machine, is that correct? That's correct, yeah, we're the only one up uh, Y-axis. Yeah. Do they do other machines as well? Because I know them for this type of technology. Is there any other Nakamura machines? No, absolutely. I think uh, one thing that we try to develop a little bit more in the UK is uh, the WT being a fantastic seller for us, but we have developed that into our three turret machines as well, which again, for the avionic connector type market, we've been very, very successful with our three turrets, three Y-axis uh, construction. Um, and we're trying to break more into the machine uh, tool changer uh, environment with a B-axis as well. So as part of our, our ongoing development uh, for the UK market, 
we do have these machines coming into the UK, which we will have in our new showroom, which will be demonstrated in June. So that's going up, call it a level, to a mill turn machine with a, a proper milling spindle. What about coming down a level? Is there anything under a twin turret, twin spindle machine? Well, the other thing we've developed extremely well for the UK market is the AS level as well, which is more of an entry uh, style machine. Um, and obviously through our RSMs, they have the ability to go out into the market uh, without having to sell a full technology package and training behind that. It's a little bit more of a, uh, a basic understanding for anybody involved in CNC, but it's proving to be a very, very good seller for us at ETG. Yeah. Okay then, so for a new user, we're looking at a WT150. I've seen it today. I think it's got all the attributes I'm looking for on my complex components for, from a production environment. How much is it going to cost me? Well, this machine, as it stands at the moment, will be just under 180 grand. Um, like I say, when we go back, uh, probably when I started selling them around about sort of 2010, uh, we were probably in around about 220,000 um, pounds. So it's trying to get that back into the market to understand people can have the big name of Nakamura at a fantastic price today. Brilliant, Graham. Thanks for your time. No problem. Thank you very much. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD on...